does it mean to abide in the Father's love? It's, it's important for us to acknowledge the Father's love. For the Father loves the Son and shows Him all things that He Himself does. And He will show Him greater works than these that you may marvel. He's saying, look, the Father loves the Son. He's acknowledging the love the Father has for Him. And then He is saying, He's showing me all these wonderful things that I'm doing. And He's going to show me greater things. So you acknowledge the same thing. My Father loves me and everything I'm doing. He's blessed me with this. Hey, but listen, he's going to do greater things through my life. But this is how we can condense this abiding in the Father's love, resting in and living out of. This is what that life would look like. First, when we abide in the Father's love, when we rest in and live out of the Father's love, there is no place for hate. So let's say together, there is no place for hate. So a person who is resting in the Father's love and living out of that love, no place for hate. Statement we like to make is when we rest and live out of the Father's love, persecution does not alarm us and purity is our way of life. You're resting, you're abiding in the Father's love. So, oh, behold what manner of love the Father has given to me. Wonderful. But he says, hey, two things. The world doesn't know it. Don't get surprised if the world hates you. So the world attacks you, persecutes you. Don't get surprised. And you will not be alarmed because you're already resting and abiding in the Father's love. And a life of purity. You're so loved by God. You know what He's going to do. You know what's coming up. So you purify yourself. When we abide in the, and, and live out of the Father's love, we sacrifice and share. If you're abiding in the Father's love, here's what's going to happen. You're going to be willing to lay down your life for others. And that doesn't necessarily mean you get killed, but you are sacrificing. You're giving up what you could hold on to. You're laying it down. And when you see others in need, you give in to their needs. When we abide and live out of the Father's love, we walk in love. So when you're abiding in the Father's love, your natural response in any situation is that of love. You do what love will do. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not irritable. Love does not keep an account of a uh, wrong that is done to it. Uh, love uh, does not rejoice in sin. Love rejoices in the truth. That is your natural response when you are resting and living out of the Father's love. When we abide in and live out of the Father's love, we recognize our spiritual standing. We are free from fear and we are free to love Him. So there is no fear of being condemned, of being judged and cast away by God. That's gone. Because perfect love, your experience of the Father's love has dispelled that morbid kind of fear out of your life. Yes, we have reverence for God, but we are not in this place of morbid fear, fear of judgment and condemnation before God. Two additional thoughts, insights we want to add to this, abiding in the Father's love. Is this, obedience is the key to abiding in the Father's love. So you keep my command. Oh, you obey. You will abide. You'll be able to rest in and live out of my love. Abide in my love. Keep my commandments. Walk in obedience. Now, why is obedience so important? Because when we walk in obedience, it is then that we walk in the light. As he is in the light. And we have fellowship with one another. But the Father disciplines whom he loves. First, he corrects us through his word. So it's important to be open to the word of God. You read, keep reading it because God will speak to you through his word. He corrects us by his Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God within you will guide you will guide you into all truth, keep you on course. When you and I tend to take a step off, he's going to say, no, no, get back. So he corrects us by his Holy Spirit. He corrects us through other people around us. So godly people, when they speak into your life and you give them the right to speak, uh, they're able to tell you, hey, you're going off track there. You need to come, along, come, 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 come into alignment here. So he corrects us through that. And sometimes he corrects us through our situations and circumstances. Mm -hmm.